Hello, 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 and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from Psalm 137, verse 7. And it reads, Remember, O Lord, against the sons of Edom, the days of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it. To its very foundation i remember I, I repeat remember O lord against the sons of edom the days of jerusalem who said raise it raise it to its very foundation now i want to divide the scripture into two parts but well, before i go ahead i'd like to say that this also is a continuation of psalm 137 um, from verse 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which spoke about the captivity of Babylon, the captivity of Zion, and their mood at that point in time, how the Babylonians were making a mouth of them and wanted them to continually sing in a foreign land in a way of mockery, in a way of um, continue to do what you used to do in your homeland. Try and be happy because this is your new life. And that is what they were portraying to them, that their new life was captivity. Their new life was in bondage. Their new life was to perpetually be under their um, slavery. Their new life was to be in a position where they didn't have their total freedom. Their freedom had been restricted. Their joy had been taken away from them. And they were being oppressed to sing. But here... They said, remember, O Lord, against the sons of Edom. Now, who are the sons of Edom? The sons of Edom are a brother to the Israelites. Um, in those days, they were, they were enemies. They continually fought, even right from the days of Jacob. And they had their enmity had prolonged up until this day. They said, remember, O Lord, against the sons of Edom. Here, they were asking God to remember that it was the sons of Edom who first prophesied the destruction of Jerusalem. The sons of Edom who first prophesied that Jerusalem was going to be reduced to rubble. The sons of Edom always wanted the destruction of their brothers, the destruction of Jerusalem. They, they wanted it to be raised. And it says the day of Jerusalem, that's a destruction. Who said raise it raise it that's let there be fire in jerusalem let it be reduced to its foundation to its very foundation where everything will be desolate there will be no houses there will be no people and it will be completely desolate completely destroyed completely annihilated the name jerusalem was will be no more that this was the wishes of the sons of edom so the israelites here were saying that and they were reminding God what the sons of Edom had said and what they had prophesied and what their wishes which they had proclaimed. And these wishes and these prophecies were, had come to pass at that point in time and they were in captivity. Jerusalem was desolate. Jerusalem had been destroyed. Jerusalem had been reduced to rubble. Jerusalem had been burned down by the Babylonian captors who were stronger than them who overpowered the Israelites at that point in time and make them their captors. Now I want to pray that God is able to expand our minds on this word, that God is able to give us more revelational knowledge on this word, that we will be able to walk with it and run with it, that ultimately God is able to give us that situation where we have the ability to turn around our situation that if we're going through any down times any challenges god is able to turn it around god is able to to switch everything all our all our problems around for goodness all our problems around for for a better situation all our problems around for the fact that we will be able to come out stronger and stronger all these I ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank you so much for listening and God bless. God bless in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.